Clever's back with even more awesome memory products, and now they're taking DDR5 all the way to 7200 mega transfers. Good afternoon, morning. welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the four piece variety or Walkie Triple XL. And we yesterday had a full benchmarking stream where I was testing this 2x24 gig kit. I know 48 gigs in two memory DIMMs now is kind of otherworldly. Um, and yeah, 7200 mega transfers DDR5. Unfortunately, it's a Z690 with a 13600K, which if you're in the know, you know that the, yeah, Intel's not the best for showing differences in memory, but there was still a couple areas where it was a bit of a bully beatdown against my poor <laughs> original day one uh, a data XPG kit, which runs at 5200 mega transfers with a cache latency of CL38. And it's 38 all the way through, which is um, quite sharp. So these, these were really, really good uh, off the bat and they provided me with way better than the premium DDR4 performance, about five-ish to 10% on average. And so this is now a premium, premium kit, which has AMD uh, Expo uh, compatibility and then it's got the Intel XMP 3.0 compatibility. So what was really nice about setting this up is I did that live on stream as well, where I showed how easy it is to just one click set up RAM because RAM is a very finicky thing, especially if you're gonna do overclocking and it's always nice if you can just get something that's reliable out the gate. And that's something Clev has done an exceptionally good job with. Every single one of their DIM kits that I've used has worked just straight out of box, whether it was 3600 megahertz DDR4, 4000 megahertz CL19s, or 7200 megahertz seriously overclocked DDR5. The ease of operation with this is just chef's kiss. For those of you who don't know, Clev is actually made in Taiwan. That's alongside pretty much the mecca of all PC, the MSI, which is this whole test bench as an example, Asus and Gigabyte, they all come from Taiwan. So they're in the right place to make sure that their compatibility is then gonna work with pretty much any system. And they actually list them off on the back side of the product over here. So it's just nice that it's plug and play and it's easy to use. So for those of us who don't really wanna sit and faff with timings and spend all that extra effort to get like a couple percent in performance out of it, then you don't really have to, which is, I gotta say is a big plus. Anyway, let's get to the test bench and then the performance results because that's ultimately what we're here for. So the test bench setup, is a, like I said, a 13600K with a Z690 torpedo. It's powered by a deep cool 850 watt gold PM850D. And then I've got the Supreme X 3070Ti, quite noticeable, I'm sure it's 1.8 kilograms worth of graphics card. And then it's cooled by our Corsair H100, which is a little bit under spec for multi-threaded testing. Then for our RAM, we have a Data XPG, as I said, 5200 megahertz CL38, and it's 3838. And I think the closing timing is either 72 or 80. I can't actually remember offhand for that, but I know for this kit, it starts at CL34 and then it goes 44, 44 and 80 at the end. So it's got a very sharp opening timing, which inherently should give a bit more single core performance is the TLDR from that. So, and that's basically what we observed. So getting to those results, we're looking at the worst ones up front, which was actually in 3 my fire strike in time spa, where unfortunately the temperature, the ambient temperature in my room was a lot warmer than it was on the Monday morning on the 17th when I did the original tests. So it did, uh, the CPU and GPU did noticeably degrade in their overall boost clocks. So it wasn't as sharp as that, but they actually were still ahead in both of the CPU tests. So it's actually with less clock and less temperature boost headroom for the CPU actually ran faster. And then when we look at gaming, for most of the sort of AAA games and stuff, which lean a bit more heavily on the GPU, that was consistent with our results, where there was a small improvement between those two. But it, specifically in Counter-Strike and Dota is where I noticed the biggest gaps. And in, especially in Counter-Strike, the overall stability increase was exceptional. We only got to like a low of 200 frames where it was about 140-ish before, if memory serves. But I remember just being a really big gap over there. And then I noticed in general, the lows, the 1% lows and the low averages were way better 
with the faster memory. So even on a platform like this, you're gonna see a lot more stability from having the faster RAM, which just makes a lot of sense that it would be able to serve up stuff a lot faster. So improving those low range F FPS values. But if you have something like a 7800X3D or pretty much any AMD platform, we know that AMD reacts to RAM very actively. And so yeah, it's gonna pr pretty much guarantee you performance, especially if you're going from like say, a 5,600 megahertz kit to something like this, uh, or even 5,200 like these are to something 7,200, like 2,000 mega transfers faster. It's gonna make quite a, a big difference. And especially as well, well, it, it, I would say as well for multi-threaded processing. So if you're doing a lot of rendering um, off of your CPU, something to that effect, or streaming off of CPU or something to that effect, it's really gonna make a big performance difference in those avenues. And the big plus with Cove is they give a limited lifetime warranty. So anything that's outside of physical damage will be covered basically from that. Um, and you know, just in general, the build quality, the quality of the heat sinks on there, the diffusing for the LED, I just love Clev. I've had nothing but good service from them. They've been, um, you know, obviously supporting me on the channel quite a bit with uh, a lot of DDR4 RAM kits. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to get my hands on some of their DDR5 and say I can attest to it actually working quite well. And even in areas where you normally wouldn't see that much performance differential, we did see some. So it's clearly more bigger number is more faster is the TLDR in this regard. Anywho. That's all I have for you on this Clev 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 Crash B RGB. If you have enjoyed this review, please hit us up with a like and subscribe. And I will see you on the flip side.